Hello and welcome back to SciTitech. In this video, I'm going to show you three interesting Arduino Uno projects where all three of these projects uses the same code, such as the bar graph with a potentiometer, pressure switch of a piezo, and an EMF meter. And I'm going to show you how to make this in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> As you can see, my circuit is now. As you can see, my circuit is now wired up to the Arduino. You can see the positive of the Arduino is connected to the positive rail of the breadboard. The ground wire of the Arduino is connected to the ground rail of the breadboard, and the wires that are all connected from pin 12 to 2 are all connected to all 110 ohm resistors, connected to all of the anodes of the blue LEDs and all of the cathodes of the blue LEDs are connected to the negative rail of the breadboard, then linked from negative rail to negative rail. And as you can see, this is all... Open up your Arduino program, go to File, Examples, go down to Display, Bar Graph, and then you'll have this window that will open. And then simply plug in your Arduino, and press Upload. And there you have it. Now you have the code that is programmed into your Arduino. The first project is going to be the bar graph, where I'm going to use a potentiometer to control 10 LEDs to light up one LED all the way to the 10th LED. This right here is a 1 mega ohm potentiometer. And as you can see, there's three pins. The center pin is going to be the analog pin where I'm going to be used to control the signal. The other two on both ends is positive or negative. And as you can see, the center pin of the potentiometer is connected to analog zero. Now I'm going to place a positive wire on one pin of the potentiometer and connect that to the positive rail. And I'm going to take a negative and connect it to the other pin and connect that to the negative rail. And there you have it. Now let's go ahead and turn the potentiometer and you can see the LEDs light up. And you can control the LEDs just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the potentiometer and I'll be ready for the next project. My second Arduino Uno project is using the piezo switch as a pressure switch. Place it here just like this. I have right here my alligator clips. I'm going to connect one end of the alligator clip to the analog and the other end to one of the pins of the piezo. There we go. Now it's connected. Take another alligator clip, connect to the other end of the piezo. and then take a jumper wire and connect that to ground. Now, as you can see, I lightly press it and I can turn on a few LEDs. Press it a little harder and it turns on more LEDs. Light pressure is a few LEDs. Heavy pressure is more LEDs. And you can tap on it just like this and just have a lot of fun with it. You can even sense vibrations, just like this. And I find readjusting it by just touching it readjusts the LEDs and turns them back off. And there you have it. Now you know how to use a piezo as a pressure switch. Next, I have my third Arduino project, and I'm going to use this thicker wire to place into the analog. I could use this wire, but to me it's a little too limp and it won't work. It won't be picking up the signal as well as the stiff wire. So I'm going to connect the stiff wire to the analog. I'm going to connect my power supply just like this. Put my stiff wire into analog zero. And there you have it. Now you have an EMF meter. So what I'm going to do is do a test where I'm going to put my arm next to the wire. And as you can see, no reaction. But if I were to rub my arm like this and create static electricity, 
it'll create an electromagnetic field, just like this. Now I move my arm close to it, the static electricity is causing an EMF. My other arm, nothing. My charged arm, something. You can also use this device to sense other electronics, such as my phone, which puts off a huge electromagnetic field. Just wave it around just like this, and it picks up just like that. And there you have it. Now you know how to make three interesting Arduino Uno projects that uses the same bar graph code. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. To the next tech. Goodbye.